As you know, Montana has two great national parks in the state, and both of them get tons of visitors every year. So I decided to check out the Google reviews on both parks, and believe it or not, they each get a ton of one-star reviews. Some of them are hilarious. Let's go take a look. Before we get to this week's episode, I would like to take a minute to thank all of you that have been watching our videos. I do have one favor to ask though. I was looking at our stats and it says that 68% of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. So if you're one of those people, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It would definitely help us out a ton. Thank you. And let's get on with this week's episode. We'll start with the reviews of Yellowstone Park. And the first review says, seen one majestic and colorful thermal feature of archae bacteria, you've seen them all. They don't even let you touch the geysers and there's only black and grizzly bears, no panda, polar, or cave bears. I'm not sure what a cave bear is, but we'll have to check with Fish, Wildlife, and Parks to see if they can do something about that. The next one says, we went camping here, by far the worst place I've ever camped. Just a giant open field, way too close to other people sitting under direct sunlight. No trees, no bushes, just dirt with slight grass. I'm not sure which campground he was in. It probably wasn't even in the park. But next time he should check out that new thing called Google and check the reviews on a campground before he books a spot. The next one's a classic. It says, same thing, geysers everywhere. I got bored the second day I came here. Also, there is no Wi-Fi or mobile signal coverage, making it difficult to look things up online. Too many geysers and no internet. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing the pioneers said when they first discovered Yellowstone. Apparently, this is this kid's first trip out of his mom's basement to a national park. The next one reads as follows. Horrid experience. I mean, there was people. There were YouTubers and influencers and idiots abound. The park itself is gorgeous and it's a wonderful and it's wonderful to see the wildlife, but may I suggest allowing people to swim in the thermal pools and play in the geysers? Could we also encourage people to get out and pet the bison and bull elk? Telling them to hand feed the grizzlies instead of from their cars would be a great addition as well. In the campgrounds, have people store freshly cooked meals directly in their tents instead of in wild-proof boxes. Taking these steps would help with the people problem. Well, this guy makes some interesting points, and it would definitely cut down on the amount of people in the park. And then we have this one. Although some stones were yellow, they were by no means the majority, and to be honest, not high-quality stone either. Would not recommend if you are a fan of yellow stones. I guess there's a comedian in every group. And then we have this gal who said, smelled like sulfur, ruined the experience, would have been pretty if I was like my sister and couldn't smell anything. Apparently this girl didn't do very well in her earth science class, and I bet she's going to be disappointed if she checks out the different hot springs around Montana as well. And then we have this guy. Y'all really need to get more bison, plus no Wi-Fi around the park. Y'all should be ashamed. Apparently it was this southern boy's first trip out of the basement as well. And when I call Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, I'll ask him about the bison and see what we can do about adding more bison. So it's not only Yellowstone getting the bad reviews. Glacier Park gets its share as well. This guy says, I came to Glacier National Park to see glaciers, and they're almost all gone. I still had to pay full price to get in though. <laughs> also, you have to leave your gun in the car when you go in the lodge. I thought America was the land of the free. Apparently this person missed the 10,000 articles that have been written about the melting glaciers. And last time I checked, there has never been a bear attack inside one of the lodges. I think you're okay with your gun out in the car. And then we have this one. Very, very dog unfriendly. Park rangers are not friendly at all. They need to take a course from the employees at Disney World who have to smile at all times. Not accessible to campers, no parking at the trails. Then when you do park to hike, they give you a ticket. No handicapped parking sites at the hiking trails, so not handicap accessible. Beautiful park, but 
not at all dog friendly, even though you can have dogs at campsites. Poor friendliness and welcoming by park rangers. I'm guessing that the park rangers weren't smiling because they were dealing with a bunch of people who thought they were at Disneyland. So about 99% of the other bad reviews for Glacier were about the vehicle registration system that we talked about in a video I just did a couple weeks ago that I will post at the end of this video. And I agree, a couple years ago the vehicle registration system was terrible and it's still not great, but it's definitely gotten better. So check out this video at the end if you wanna see what I'm talking about. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information, and don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.